We are still months away from the launch of the Galaxy S25, but numerous details about the upcoming flagship lineup have already leaked. Recently, more information regarding the Galaxy S25 Ultra's camera specifications has surfaced. It was previously revealed that the Galaxy S25 Ultra would receive the most significant camera upgrades in the lineup. A few days ago, it was reported that the Galaxy S25 Ultra would feature a quad-camera setup on the rear. This setup includes a 200-megapixel primary rear camera and 350-megapixel auxiliary cameras, telephoto and ultrawide. According to tipster ISA QDS81 on X, the 50-megapixel ultrawide camera on the upcoming flagship phone will utilize a newer version of the 1-2.76-inch ISO CELLJN1 camera sensor. This sensor is slightly smaller than the 12-megapixel ultrawide sensor used in the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but offers four times the resolution. Additionally, the telephoto camera on the Galaxy S25 Ultra will reportedly feature a 1-slash 3-inch 50-megapixel ISO CEL sensor, which is slightly larger than the 10-megapixel sensor used in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This camera will be equipped with a 3x optical zoom lens and is expected to have OIS, optical image stabilization. All the cameras on the phone, except for the ultra-wide camera, should have OIS for improved shake resistance and better image quality in low-light conditions. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is likely to retain the same 12-megapixel selfie camera on the front as the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Recent reports indicate that Qualcomm might be the sole supplier of chipsets for the upcoming Galaxy S25 series, expected to launch next year. This suggests that all three Galaxy S25 models will feature the next-generation Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset globally, with no variants using the rumored Exynos 2500 chipset. According to a South Korean report, the possibility of exclusively using Snapdragon chipsets for the Galaxy S25 series stems from the low yield rates of the Exynos 2500. However, Samsung has reportedly made significant improvements to the manufacturing process, increasing the yield rate to 20%. While this is a notable improvement, it still falls short of the required threshold. The report states that yields need to be at least 60% for the chip to enter mass production. Samsung needs to achieve this by the third quarter of this year to ensure that the chipsets can be used in the Galaxy S25 units slated for release in the first quarter of 2025. Currently, details about the Exynos 2500 are limited. Some rumors suggest that it could rival or even surpass the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 in power efficiency. However, the persistently low yields pose a significant risk, potentially making mass production unfeasible if the minimum yield threshold is not met in time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next video. Peace out.